Tech Arters, what's up, man? I wanted to jump on and update you today about the Dolch Pack 60 486. You'll remember a couple weeks ago, we threw Minix 2.0 on the system and got it running. We're trying to find a Unix-like operating system that'll run well on that 486 that I can use as like a home network, not sniffer, but that I can look at my home network from. But I ran into some issues last Saturday. I guess I'll share this with you. Before my coffee every day, I get one of those big fat red solo cups. I fill it up with cold water and I drink that 32 ounces uh, before I do anything in the day, before my coffee even. So I had my Dolch keyboard and system proudly set up and somehow or another, I turned around and you know what happened, right? That red solo cup went right in the Dolch keyboard. So <laughs> I decided to let it dry out for 48 hours before I tried power and that was good because nothing bad happened. Everything's okay with the irreplaceable Dolch keyboard, but I couldn't record any more videos uh, that weekend. At any rate, I was trying to find more current software than Minix 2.0. I jumped over to Slackware and that was pretty cool. I got version 1.1.3 installed, no problems, but that was still an old software, right? What can I run new and current on the 486? Well, of course, I started looking at the BSDs, and NetBSD is looking like a great candidate. Even their newest version, 11.0, has i386 floppy disk install media. It looks perfect, right? Um, I read a lot of documentation. Uh, I talked about disabling H ACPI uh, through the boot commands, but it's still failing, and I wanted to share that with you today. I'm going to show you attempting to boot the five NetBSD 11.0 boot diskets, uh, floppy disks, and where the error is hitting. I get the error both when I simply run it with no boot commands and when I run boot-2, which disables ACPI ACHI. You know, that thing. So come along and let's have some fun. I'm going to show you the failure and I'll show you a sneak peek of another project on the Dolch. We're having a lot of fun and I'm gonna to try to make more videos if I can just keep my water out of here. Hey, luckily it wasn't the coffee, right? <laughs> All right, I'll catch you at the Dolch. Let's go. All right, so let's get started. Let me drop the keyboard down. I have the NetBSD 11.0 disc one inserted. So let's boot on into that. Okay, so booting into NetBSD. Let's let it boot up. Now, I will show you guys this. I'll press the space bar and I'll select the option to drop to the boot prompt. And here I'm gonna type boot dash two, which disables ACHI or ACP, ACQ, whatever. There's six boot disks and I'm gonna cycle through installing them all and I'll catch back up with you when we're on disk five. Right, so the fifth disc is finishing up now. And do you notice on screen uh, those characters? Plus five, 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 eight, two, seven, two. And then the spinner comes back up. But we've still got another disc, right? Nope. Look at that error. Reminds me back to the ANSI days. The screen is completely garbled and uh, there's random characters everywhere. Actually, they aren't random characters. The same exact issue pops up every time with the same characters in the same locations. Now, if you can read down below on the last line, it says, please remove disk five, insert disk six, and press enter. Okay, 
Let's try the last disk. Push enter there. And right now everything's still going okay. The spinner's spinning and the different sectors on the floppy disk are being read. However, at sector 17.1, the install completely fails, screen locks up, no more keyboard input is able, and that's it. So, I'm having issues even booting the boot disks, and I'm probably missing something, but the NetBSD i386 documentation isn't too helpful, and uh, there it is frozen now, guys. That's all she wrote, and the system is dead. If you know what I'm missing installing NetBSD on a 486, let me know down in the comments. I'm scratching my head, but I'm gonna tackle this. Now, let me show you the sneak peek of another project I'm working on. I'll remove the floppy disk altogether, and let me go reboot the machine. How many of you guys remember this one? Well, there's a boot manager. Can you read what line it says? OS2 Warp, baby. Video about this installation and customizing OS2 is coming up. This was just a little quickie update about the Dolch project. Okay, friends, that's all I've got for you today. We'll come back for more Unix-like fun on the Dolch 486 and an OS2 Warp video coming up. Take care, rock stars.